All right, all you fly tires, it's time to start seriously thinking about tying flies for 2011. We're going to tease you a little bit. We're going to tie our SLS. SLS stands for Slough, Lamar, and Soda Butte in the northeast corner of Yellowstone Park. We're going to tie a little sparkle done we came up with, basically to minimize patterns. If you tie this, you can imitate several different mayfly species with this one insect. And it's a sparkle done. You can tie it improved or regular standard sparkle done style. You begin by stacking a wing of deer hair, and of course you need the right deer hair, the sparkle done deer with short tips, very coarse, short uniform tips and hair. We're going to bind that onto the hook shank, trim those butts down and see how that compressed. That indicates that we have the right hair for this purpose. Next we're going to back the wing up with Zelon, and this is Zelon dyed Epioris or Pink Lady color. Forms the perfect abdomen just with wraps of primrose, light Cahill if you will, 80 uni thread. Just bring your wraps forward right behind the hook for the tie in point, midway up the hook. And now stand up the backing wing as well as a few fibers of deer hair. Make a wrap. Next, grab the next bundle of deer hair, the next third if you will. Make another wrap and now stand. Build a dam of thread right in front of that last clump of deer hair. And you can see a perfectly fanned out wing. Now we're going to use SLS dubbing. Um, it's kind of a blend of orange orangey olive gray dubbing to imitate again those three species of mayflies Epiorus, Heptagenia and a pale morning dun all in one, all with one insect it's a 206 BL hook and the reason we use it, it's a barbless hook from Tiemco and of course in Yellowstone Park you have to use barbless so consequently we use this hook, we like the the conformation of the hook, it has a nice emerger type, if you will, shape to it. There's a couple of fibers of deer hair that really are kind of bothering me, so I'm going to trim those out of the way. And finally, we're going to whip finish. Oh, yeah, here's something I wanted to talk to you about. A lot of you have called and emailed and said, hey, how do you cut that thread? with your whip finisher. This is a Mattarelli whip finisher with a little cutter on the end. It saves a step of you having to pick up your scissors and cut the thread once you complete the whip finish. We're actually selling these now. Um, you can check out our website and for information on them. Really saves a lot of time. This particular whip finisher Frank gave me, Frank Mattarelli gave me this probably 25, 27 years ago. It's still going strong. Cutter it really saves a lot of time and it's something if you're a professional tire or an amateur tire just getting into it this will save you a step having to put your whip finisher down take out your scissors and trim that in your thread so I might suggest one of these anyway this is the uh, completed SLS sparkle done it's a beautiful addition to your fly box and it's a it's a fish catching machine in the northeast corner of Yellowstone Park on Slough, Lamar and Soda Butte Creeks